The former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan says he is not running for president in 2024. My gut was flipping back and forth, so it really came down to if I wasn't 100 percent convinced that I shouldn't do it. You were torn. I was torn. Republican, a lot of people thought a run for the White House was going to be his next move. Hogan says he decided against it after a lot of consideration. So what does this decision mean for the 2024 race? Here's Evan Kozlov with new insight on that. He made the announcement today on Face the Nation in an interview with CBS correspondent Robert Costa. There's long been speculation about whether this moderate Republican would throw his hat in the ring. Now we know that is off the table. I was struggling uh, because my heart was telling me to run. My head was telling me no. And just like that, former Governor Larry Hogan has pulled himself out of the race before it started. The Republican, who has remained popular in his very blue home state, was thought to be a possible foil to former President Donald Trump. But in this interview, the Trump critic argued that too many candidates could just help the former president. I didn't want to have a uh, pile up of a bunch of people fighting. Right now you have, you know, Trump and DeSantis at the top of the field, you're soaking up all the oxygen, getting all the attention, and then a whole lot of the rest of us in single digits. And uh, the more of them you have, the less chance you have for somebody rising up. Hogan's announcement comes as the campaign for 2024 is just starting to heat up. We need a different commander in chief. Former South Carolina governor and candidate Nikki Haley spoke on Friday at the Conservative Political Action Conference, which ironically took place in Hogan's home state at National Harbor. We will evict Joe Biden from the White House. And on Saturday, former President Trump took the stage for close to two hours. I think Larry, Larry Hogan would have had a shot in terms of a kind of message that may have found ways to reach out to minorities and to young people like he was successful at doing as governor of Maryland. Dr. Ravi Perry is a political analyst from Howard University and says there's a clear split in the GOP between those who support Trump and those who are trying to move forward. Do you think it's a sign that maybe a number of candidates that we think are hopefuls are going to step out or are we going to see everybody start crashing in pretty soon? I actually think the opposite is going to happen. Um, I think we're going to see more Republican candidates uh, come out. Meanwhile, two notable possible GOP candidates that were not at CPAC. We didn't hear from former Vice President Mike Pence, nor do we hear from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Both names have been floated as possible candidates to run against Trump. In the studio, I'm Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.